Today, we are gonna make your videos more awesome. It's such a nice tool, right? I use it all the time in my reviews and the best thing is that it's super easy to build. Uh, you can find all these components on eBay. I will leave links in the description below. Take a look there. And the first step is to make the servo continuously rotating. Next step, reassemble the servo and make a frame out of 21 by 21 millimeter square wood and that would be almost one by one inch. It doesn't really matter, it's not that important. Let's go. Can we just agree on the hot glue as the best thing ever? A quick tip is to use hot glue on the bottom. This prevents the frame from moving too much and causes a little bit more friction. So basically what you need regarding electronics is a servo tester. And again, I will link all these down below in the description, so take a look there. Um, so this is a servo tester, it's just a really cheap way of controlling the servo. And the servo tester requires 5 volts, and that's why we have this uh, step-down regulator, also called a BC. And uh, the BC is connected to the battery, uh, but I also have some 12 volt LEDs. So what I'm gonna do is a Y splitter so the LEDs is powered directly from the battery. Uh, this gotta be like the fifth time. Every time I use the heating gun, I burn myself. All right, so basically what I did was a simple wire connection. So the battery will be connected in here. And this is the wire to the LED light. And the BC is connected as well. I don't know if the LEDs are even gonna do anything, but I guess it's a fun way of experimenting with different colors. Uh, you know, I have white LEDs right now, but I guess it could be fun to have like an RGB uh, LED light where you can change different colors and it would uh, uh, light up the product from below I think it could look real cool if it actually works. So I'm gonna try it out Good job, we are almost done actually, it's not that much left of the build. Uh, but what I have here is a sheet of uh, plexiglass and that's gonna be the spinning table. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the servo horn that is included with the servo, we're gonna press it on and now we're gonna mark the center of this square and we're gonna glue it onto the servo.
we are pretty much done right now. I haven't tested it yet, but it did turn out really good. Better than I initially thought. I did prepare a foam circle. It's just uh, some six millimeter Depron. You know, it's easy to place on there. Uh, but I want to see how it looks like without anything. So I'm just going to plug in the battery. And there we go. All right, so let's increase the speed a little. And that's nice with this uh, with this uh, dial. You can actually make it go really quick. And the other way, if that's what you want. Yeah, but obviously most of the time you're gonna you're gonna use it to really just move that object, rotate the object really slowly. So let's see how it looks like with the foam. All right, it looks pretty weird on camera for some reason, but it looks pretty darn cool in in reality. So let me try out some objects um, and see what I can do with it. I didn't think it would handle the weight, but it actually does. I mean, this is a big car. I mean, it's really heavy. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully someone will find this project helpful. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I use it all the time in my videos and reviews, and it, it really does uh, make it look a little bit more professional. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Have a nice day. Bye.